good workout for mommy. <laughs> keep going? Okay, keep those feet up. So we bought something for Lila. We've been taking her to the park more often and she's been kind of wasting her energy. Actually one day we took her to two different parks. That was a crazy day. Um, but now that it's getting cold we have nothing to like take. Like at home it's like yeah her mentally she's distracted but we need to get her physically active. So we bought something for her. We're gonna unbox it and show you guys. Hopefully it does not backfire. You know how when you buy something it totally backfires for your kids? We're hoping that's not going to be a thing. A big old box and then a little box inside of it. Hey! Whoa! Well, hello! No more boxes inside here. What do we have here? What is it? What does it look like to you? <laughs> oh, this is a, this is a weapon. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> what is this? Do you know what this is? You know, right? Because you sit in it at the park all the time. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Keep those feet up. Let's see that beautiful face. Let's see that beautiful face. Oh my goodness, she just knows. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> She's gonna be a good famous person. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, keep that face to yourself, huh? We thought it was a pretty neat find because we really wanted her to do something in the house and then she'll be hanging too. Lately she's been hanging a lot. Um, we're going to link it in the bio if you guys are interested. Not a lot of damage goes to the door. There are five holes on each side. <laughs> just make sure you do the holes in the right place. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you do the holes in the right place. <laughs> uh, but I think it's pretty cool. I wanted her to be able to do something. Uh, right now I'm just with her because I don't know her arm strength yet. If she has enough arm strength to hold herself. But she's showing she does. So um, after that it's kind of all on her. I do want to put a little padding or like a... <laughs> like a workout yoga mat here just in case she does fall there's cushion <laughs> ah you're falling your butt <laughs> ah! our setup is coming along uh, we still gotta do something with the wall we haven't decided whether we want to paint it or do wallpaper I'm going more towards wallpaper because I don't want like the solid look uh, but it looks so cute and by the way yes there's pink and a pink elephant this is not about expecting no children <laughs> I think two people thought that we were expecting no that wasn't that wasn't the thing <laughs> we're actually not 100% sure no we're just joking we'll tell you in a week <laughs> um, it's coming along though. We'll show you guys little bits and pieces here and there. Okay, so it's day two. <coughs> also our anniversary. This time we remembered. Uh, just yesterday though, I think. Because <laughs> I was like, babe, what do you want to do for your birthday? I'm like, oh, tomorrow's our anniversary. Because we planned it that way so we don't, we don't forget. A day before his birthday is our anniversary. We don't really go all out and beyond. We never have. Actually, we even forgot last year's, did we? It was a... Uh, a girl who said happy anniversary and we were like oh shoot it's our anniversary today it was pretty funny uh so we're not like that crazy about it but we suck with dates that's why we're like hey you know let's plan it out so that we never forget a day before your birthday um and that's kind of how it happened um okay something i want to talk to you guys about because i suffered with this a long time ago um and i don't anymore my clients always ask me about it and then random dms i get about it and something just dawned on me hey let me just do a video about it and it is cramping cramping restless legs especially after working out now when you do a really intense workout um, you're gonna feel it in your legs but 
if you're cramping, it could be two things, either low potassium or not enough water. Most of the time it's not enough water, but you'd be surprised how much potassium can help you um, with this. So something, if, if this is something that you struggle with often, um, I wanted to show you guys kind of a way to boost your potassium for the day. You can do it on leg days um, and make sure you don't get this cramping. But a lot of the times it's just water that prevents it from happening. I don't even drink as much water as I should. I always tell myself this, but um, I have increased since back in the day and I used to work leg day every day so it was much more intense for me. Every single night I had uh, really bad cramps, especially in my calves. Um, and it kind of fixed it by making sure to not overwork out, making sure to drink water, even though I need to drink way more, um, and then get an overload of potassium into your diet. Me and him nagging me all the time. <laughs> you can't just roll your eyes and drink that water that he hands you. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you guys a really quick way to get potassium in. However, the number one uh, food that you can eat is avocados. They're the highest in potassium. A lot of people think bananas are, even I did for some time. Bananas aren't really that high on the list. Um, they do have potassium, just not as much as other things. So avocado is really good. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make a shake. Um, and before I do that, some of you have been asking about which Ninja I use. It's the Auto IQ Pro. I threw away the box, it's kind of old. So I'll just link it in the description box. I'll find the exact one and link it for you guys. That way you guys know. Uh, just keep in mind, avocados are high in calories, but another really good one is spinach. Spinach is one of the highest as well. Um, and a cool shake that you can do is spinach bananas. Most people just do this and they're totally cool with it. I'm going to add in some strawberries because bananas and strawberries always taste delicious. Um, and we are going to do coconut milk. I'm going to take some coconut milk from Lila. Um, so for the spinach, just a handful. So just a very generous handful. Uh, you can also do frozen strawberries if you want. These are from Aldi, the organic ones. That's more. Good. <laughs> more. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Silly girl. One banana. No, you may not steal my banana. <laughs> For the last two days, she has been stealing my food. I plan out what I'm going to eat, I track it all, and she comes and eats it all. <laughs> Should I do frozen? I'll do frozen. It'll be easier. The other ones I gotta cut and wash. There's no ice. Oh, there's no ice. There's ice. I did it yesterday. My shoes. My hands. I'll tell you. And like that many strawberries. Oh, shit down. Uh, I'm gonna weigh out my coconut just so I know how much I'm having. Strawberries are like 10 calories a piece. Um, you may be wrong by a couple calories, it's not a big deal. About eight, right? If you want to do coconut milk, you can do coconut water. That's also high in potassium. I don't know how good it would taste because this is more like creamy. Um, and the cool thing about spinach is you think spinach and you think, eh, but spinach is actually not that like overpowering. The taste is not bad. So you're all pretty much what you should be tasting is strawberries, bananas, and coconut milk. Banana mask. Yeah. If your shake or smoothie ever tastes like crap, add a banana. It fixes it. I swear. <laughs> The best option on this blender is the extract and it kind of just does it on its own but it goes in different directions uh, which is kind of cool and that's why it doesn't leave a lot of like little pieces or grindiness or weird stuff. So um, and it also has little suction cups on the bottom that like really stick to it so that you can walk away if you want. All right, I'm sure it tastes better than it looks. Turn green from the spinach. By the way, I've been showing you guys more juices and on my Insta story too, because I 
try to do something daily there and I've been showing every time um, I juice or make a smoothie and everyone thinks I'm on a cleanse. It's not a cleanse, I'm just adding it to my diet. Um, just, you know, you need your micronutrients just as much as your macros. Hey, this is really good. You don't taste spinach at all. Strawberry banana smoothie. Mmm, and it's not even thick. It's perfect. Um, I want to say the calories are probably like 230 or something like that. Just rounding it up. Um, mostly carbs, but your coconut has some fat in it, 4.5. Not bad though, this, it's good fat. It's really good. Enjoy. Nice potassium boost. Since I'm talking about spinach, um, I also wanted to talk about how uh, when you track macros, a lot of people tend to overcomplicate it and then they hate tracking because it just seems so complex. Um, and I'm pretty, I'm a chill tracker, I would say. Like, I would not count the, the spinach because this entire bag is less than 40 calories and the hand I took is probably like five, six, seven calories. So I don't even bother tracking that. Um, and there are people that obsessively track everything, like the slice of tomato on their sandwich, uh, which will amount to absolutely nothing. Things like that, I do not track so say you know if you have a salad yeah that you track because it's a lot of veggies if you eat the whole tomato track the whole tomato because then it, it amounts to something but if you're eating a slice let it go to your gains you're not gonna overeat by eating like a little veggie here and there um, so little things like that you'll start to realize oh this was 10 calories do I really need to track it but it, I mean think about it if you're having it 10 here, 10 there, 10 there, and you know it's adding up to like 60, 80 calories, you should track it. But uh, just be smart about it. You don't have to be that crazy about tracking. Actually, I had a client, she uh, would bake sweets and cakes and she had to taste everything uh, that was getting done. She's like, do I do it? Because it's just a taste. It's like, yeah, but how many things do you taste in a day? About 10 things, that becomes a slice of cake. So yeah, I mean, have a slice of cake in your app and put that in daily because you're technically eating it daily. Um, so just be smart about it like yeah if I literally take one piece from my husband's cake and I don't have anything else I won't track it but if I'm having a piece a piece a piece then yeah you're gonna have to track that I'm not gonna give you none of my cake. he's not gonna give me any of his cake what <laughs> yeah we actually don't give each other a piece of our cake we just take a slice each of us no such thing as just sharing one <laughs> eat towards your goals mm-hmm Eat towards your goals, guys. <laughs> Anyways, now we're gonna go destroy our diet after having a healthy shake here. <laughs> Since it is our anniversary and his birthday is tomorrow, we're gonna go celebrate by eating Mexican food. You know, that yummy stuff that's seafood. all high in fat. And it's seafood, right? Yeah, we, we love their, what is it? Is it a cheese and empanadas? empanadas but what is it stuffed cheese with and cheese and shrimp? Yeah. So freaking good, but the fat on that. Wow, <laughs> let me just say, it's, it's a once a year type of thing that you do. <laughs> no judging today. No judging today. We're celebrating two things, not just one. So for that reason, we can eat we're gonna extra show it on fat. Instagram. Yeah, we're going to show it on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to be following me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the smoothie tip and just leg cramps in general. If you're having them, know that there is a solution and you should not be suffering with them. I seriously have not had cramps in probably years. Well, so I'm almost taking a lot of medicine though. Yeah, her solution was to take like muscle relaxers and stuff, but no, the solution is water. She told you so many times. Yeah, she's like, Florina, what do you think I should do? I take this, 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 uh, banana, <laughs> uh, spinach avocado and drink lots of water she's like okay i'll try that there's a natural remedy to everything guys uh we don't take you won't even find advil in our house i don't believe in it i think it's a sugar pill if you believe in it great it works because it's a sugar pill but we don't believe in it food does the body good anyways hope you guys enjoyed it if you did subscribe hit that bell for notifications that's important. You don't want to miss out on my videos. And until next time, bye guys.